I'm talking today with uh, Associate Professor Soph Andrikopoulos, who is head of the Metabolism Research Group at the University of Melbourne. Thanks for your time. Uh, thank you for having me. This is great. Now, you've written a perspective on the paleo diet and how it can help or not in terms of diabetes. Why did you feel you needed to do to write this and, and what, did you, what did you conclusions did you come to? Right. So I think that there's a lot of information out there about diets and about lifestyle interventions and diabetes. And indeed, if you look at the uh, type 2 diabetes algorithm that I, as president of the Australian Diabetes Society, am responsible for, mm -hmm. it actually states that the first line intervention, or the first line of management of the patient with diabetes is lifestyle modification. So diet yep. and exercise. Yep. And now there's also a lot of um, media and a lot of hype around different types of diets, of course. And uh, the paleo diet is one of those diets that's in the media that a lot of celebrities are pushing. Uh, that we see uh, continuously on our TV. And what I wanted to do was to go in and say, and, and you know, all that information that we are being fed says, yes, it's good for you. Yeah. And yes, it, uh, it will help your diabetes. Uh, and it will, be, it will work for everybody, absolutely everyone. So, Just define a paleo diet for me. Yeah, very good question. So when I started this, I had the impression that the paleo diet was what we were told on TV, that it's a very high fat, very low carbohydrate diet that, um, uh, that uh, avoids any processed foods. Right. So the foods uh, that are highly processed would be avoided, but you should have a high, uh, very high fat, and indeed, that high fat should be saturated fat, animal fat, right. uh, high fat and very little uh, carbs. It turns out to be not the case. So if you look at the literature and the information, it turns out to be that a paleo diet is, well, whatever the, our ancestors had available to them. Yep. And if you look at the great work that Karen O'Day did with the Australian Indigenous people, mm -hmm. where she went out and took uh, them uh, away from their compounds and took them to live as they would as hunter-gatherers, their diet was predominantly um, protein, meat yep. and carbohydrate and very little fat. Yeah. And the little fat that they had was one-to-one -one ratio of animal and plant fat. Right. So I learned something. Yep. And that indigenous uh, study showed some really good benefits, didn't it? Absolutely. So that study in which uh, the Indigenous Australians were eating predominantly protein and carbohydrate showed that all of the metabolic uh, diseases, all of the metabolic disturbances uh, were completely ameliorated by, by the diet. Now, you also need to understand that on that diet, the total caloric intake was about 1,200 calories. Right. So, so it was a restricted calorie, uh, a low fat, high protein carb diet. Now, you know, we don't know whether, and I, I'm not, uh, and I don't understand whether it's because they were eating uh, a low fat versus a high fat diet, or whether they were eating 1200 calories versus, you know, 2000 calories or 1800 calories that a normal individual is meant to be eating. Yeah. Now, is there any really good research about paleo? Can I, can I tell you the honest truth? So sure. I went to, in this thinking and what I knew uh, and what I heard was that I'm going to find thousands of papers, literally thousands of papers showing the benefits of paleo in diabetes. Mm -hmm. So I did a PubMed search uh, as a good citizen of science and I found 23 papers. Right. Out of the millions of papers on PubMed, only 23 if you put paleo and diabetes. And out of those 23, at the time that I did this uh, search uh, earlier this year, there were only two clinical trials. All the rest of them were comments or case studies or uh, reviews. Right. Two studies. Yep. Only two. Yep. Only two studies. And those two studies really did not show uh, a, a benefit of the paleo diet over any other diet that was used in those patients with type 2 diabetes. Right. right. So they showed benefit but exactly the same as going on a... On a, on a, on a Mediterranean diet or, yeah. or on the American Diabetes Association diet or any other diet that restricts your calories. Right. 
They were small studies too, weren't they? They were small in number and small in duration. So they were like a month study yep. and with uh, 10 or 12 patients uh, in each arm. So they were small studies. Right. Did they show any harm? No, I don't think that they showed any harm uh, and, and they, they certainly didn't show that uh, any of the metabolic parameters changed in a way that you would go, well, I'm not particularly sure that I would want to be doing this. Yep. No, 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 yep. absolutely not. So when Joe Public sees a celebrity saying, oh, paleo reversed my diabetes, it cured my heart disease, it stopped my liver, whatever, we can safely say that they're not talking science. No, I think that, that if, you, if, you, if you're on a diet and you're restricting uh, energy intake and you lose weight, yep. whether it's a paleo diet, whether it's a Mediterranean diet, whether it's uh, the cabbage diet, whether it's Atkins, whatever it is, if you're restricting calories and you're losing weight, yep. now that is going to have uh, a benefit on your metabolic processes. Right. Now, there's two things there. Uh, long term, is that diet good for you? We don't know. So if you're having a paleo diet where you're restricting calories but you're eating a lot of saturated fat, is that going to be good for your heart long term? We don't know that question. Yep. And the second question to me, and the second most important issue to me is uh, sustainability. Can you sustain eating 70% fat uh, for the duration of your life? Because we need to understand obesity and diabetes is not an eight week program. No. It's not a 12 week body transformation program, right? Yeah. It's a lifelong disease. Yes. So you need to be able to sustain that uh, dietary intervention, lifestyle intervention for the life yeah. of, 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 your, you know, of your disease, right? Yeah. So it's going to be interesting in 20 years to see how these proponents of paleo are doing. <laughs> right. And, and, and I think that you will find that some people will be able to uh, sustain that diet, some people will be able to, to, to maintain it and do very, very well, but other people may not necessarily be able to hack eating lard, <laughs> if, if that's what we think that the paleo diet is. And I don't think that that's a, a, an appropriate definition of a paleo diet anyway. Right, so it's pretty much a shifting yeah, it's paradigm. A, yeah, it's a shifting paradigm and it depends on where you, you found yourself in, in, in the world, right? Whether you were in the tropics or uh, up in Alaska or, or in the middle of the desert, yep. in, the, in the Simpson Desert in Australia, right? And you're going to be it's, eating berries and insects. Right, you could be eating berries and insects or yeah. you could be eating blubber from whales, right? Yeah. Do you get frustrated by the celebrity uh, experts? I would rather that they they stuck to what they know best yeah. and and being celebrities and doing what they do best and I would rather Joe Public as you said go to the health professional to get advice for their metabolic derangements in this case diabetes yeah. so I would encourage everybody to go to their GP to go to an accredited dietitian to an accredited nutritionist and get advice that is tailored to your needs. Right. It's tailored to your lifestyle, to your uh, to your way of being able to manage your decisions. Sure. So if I'm a GP and a patient comes in and is red hot for going on the paleo diet, what should I be telling them? I would uh, tell them that they need to be doing a diet that is balanced, restricts calories to, to lose weight, but is sustainable for the duration of the disease. Terrific. Anything else you want to say? No, thank you very much. Go Tigers. <laughs> Thanks for your time.